Well, Grattan Kirk, the former chief executive of the JD Group, uh, joins us on the line now as we pay respect to BCX chief executive Benjamin Moffatlani. Matthew didn't know him. Uh, Grattan, you certainly did. Where, when did you first meet Ben and his twin brother Isaac? Um, hi, Alec. Um, we met in '97 when I joined. Um, that stage it was a software connection and an incredible connection. And, and Benjamin and Isaac were looking after business connection. They'd been um, partners of the original founders of Software Connection, Philip Coles and uh, Paul Moses, way back in the early '90s. So they'd been uh, working in uh, Software Connection in the Pretoria store. From, from the early 90s. So that's when we, when we uh, crossed uh, paths for the first time. He was actually working, he, he worked his way up literally from a part time job yeah. for, while he was a student. For sure, yeah. Um, you know, it's always good to see, you know, th that type of um, uh, person come through the ranks. I mean, they, they started on the, the bottom of the corporate grease dollars, you would say, and uh, working in the store when they were at varsity. Uh, helping out and uh, and look what um, look what they achieved and look what they built um, over the years. Yeah, so it's a, a phenomenal story of success. Mm. He he was a uh, guy who uh, made friends everywhere he went. Grattan, uh, I think there's there's been a lot on Twitter. We've had uh, many of the media outlets who are going to be devoting the programming their programming today to. Benjamin Moffatlani. That's unusual. That's very unusual. An unusual character, an unusual personality. <laughs> well, he was a big personality, Alec. He, he, you know, I, I'm when I heard the news this morning, I, I can just simply that, that laugh. You, you know, that laugh and, and, and that smile was infectious. He he was a big personality. He was a, a very, very well liked. He, you know, I, I guess, you know, you said to me he was educated by the Irish priest down there in um in Kimberley, so we used to have a good laugh about that and how the Irish priests used to behave uh, and educate. So he had a very soft spot for for Ireland, and and, and obviously coming from Ireland, we had a lot in common. So um, he he was a wonderful character. He, he he always had a good joke, great sense of humour, hugely popular, uh, a really really likable and, and, and amicable guy. He he and everybody knew Benjamin. <laughs> he had a big personality in a, in a room. Mm. Now, you've sat in the executive suite. You've gone through lots of turbulence, uh, both at Connection Group, then at JD as well. Uh, what is happening within BCX today? Well, they, they, you know, a couple of weeks ago when the news broke on the, on the telecom, I, I, I did it with Ben, and, and it was really a dream come true for them. Um, you know, that's been something that they've, they've wanted to do on a, on a business connection level. Uh, for many, many years, they had one failed uh, attempt a number of years ago, and now I think this was a dream come true. They had um, put it together, they they thought it through, it was was made sound, sense from a strategic point of view, and, and it was really was a culmination of many, many years of effort to, to do the deal, and they were really excited, um, both Benjamin and Isaac, to, to be able to secure such, such a deal for business connection, and, and it really was into the next level of, of the... The, the business um, uh, from from business connection point of view. I mean, business connection is, is, is a significant player. It was one of the, the remaining you know IT service providers. They've got a, got a very diverse portfolio, not only in South Africa and the rest of Africa. So they have really built a powerful, strong brand. And uh, one of the stories that reminded me is you know business connection is spelled with an X, and we came out of, of connection group which had two N's, and we were quite possessive of, of our of our uh, you know our trade name, I suppose you would call it, and, and we wouldn't we wouldn't give them the name connection with the two ends, so they just <laughs> they changed it to an X. So uh, so business connection is, is uh, grew with a slightly different spelling of as you would expect from connection, but it's a phenomenal business, and they 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 really have built an empire, I guess. Mm, so even though you might have had a, a little bit of a legal punch up, and certainly over the years, Ben had to come in here and and face the music while BCX wasn't doing that well. He, he never changed, did he? He he always had the same um, generosity of spirit. Yeah, you know, he he, he was a very mature um, businessman. He, you know, we never we never bombed, so we never boxed on on that on the on the name, for example. But he knew what he wanted. He, he was very well connected in the industry. I mean, way back from the early days of Software Connection, where, where Ben ran the telecom account, he ran the VAR account on the telecom. He, he knew the industry. He knew, he'd been in the industry for for twenty odd years, so he knew what was going on. He was a he was a major player, and and just to put together, if you think about what Business Connection came out of Connection Group in in the late nineties, 
Um, and then, you know, then the complex transactions, um, you know, how they how they managed that. He, he was he was, uh, you know, not only a, an operator from a, from the ITS you point of view, but he also on the M and A side. He did a lot of work um, in Africa and, and, and built a profile for the business in Africa. You know, the recent iCloud initiatives, the cloud initiatives that they, that they were involved in. So they were players, Alec, and and they 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 built a business from from the ground. And uh, you know, it was only you know at the end of '99 that when they bought Adams Connection Group that they really they really started to die. So what they've achieved in, in, in 20 years has been phenomenal. Indeed. Absolutely phenomenal, and uh, and that has a lot to do with, with Benjamin's drive and and, and energy, uh, his ability to build relationships, and 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 as well as run a a, a, a proper business. You know, so it's a it's a big business this connection. It hasn't always been easy going for him, as you said. That was Grattan Kirk, the former CEO of the JD Group, and uh, a man who, as he said, sat down a couple of weeks ago with uh, Benjamin Moffatlani who told him that the deal with Telcom was a dream come true. It's never a good time to leave, but if you have to leave, it's nice that at least the dream has been fulfilled. Well, 